In the previous video, I demonstrated how to use several controls and visuals in Fuxa such as buttons, LED gauges, pipe animations, and circular displays. In this video, we will continue exploring the usage of other visuals. Let's get started. To create a chart, go to the setup menu and select line chart to open the chart settings. Click the plus button to add a chart, name it temperature, then click add line and select the temperature tag. Repeat the same steps to create a humidity chart. Now, in the chart settings, we have two charts, temperature and humidity, ready to be displayed in the visual chart on the SCADA. Add a visual chart to the SCADA page, and in the interactivity settings, select temperature from the drop-down menu under chart to show to display the temperature tag data. Then, choose the visual chart again to display the humidity data. After creating the two charts, perform testing to ensure that the charts function properly. Next, for the usage of the output value visual, to display the temperature and humidity values which I will place below the circular gauge. In the value section, bind it to the temperature tag, fill in the unit, and click OK. During testing, the value in the text should correspond to the value present in the temperature tag. Copy the output value, paste it, and then edit it to display the value for the humidity tag. It's quite simple to create the output value visual, which is a text visual that will display the values for both the temperature and humidity tags. Next, let's explore how to use animation. In this example, I'll demonstrate using a rotary animation for a fan blade. In the properties, I'll set it up so that when the relay number 1 is true or 1, I'll add a fill color. And when relay number 1 has a value of false or 0, there won't be any color. In the action tab, I'll set it up so that when relay number 1 is true or 1, the animation will turn clockwise, and I'll add a condition that if relay number 1 has a value of false or zero, the action will stop. With this configuration, when the button is pressed to turn on the relay, the animation will have color and will rotate clockwise. Then, when the button is pressed to turn off the relay, the color on the blade will disappear, and the rotating animation will stop. Next, I'll proceed with some layout settings such as displaying alarm and notification icons on the header. This way, whenever there's an alarm or notification, it can be seen on the SCADA page. Next, I'll create an alarm. Click on alarm in the setup window to open the alarm settings page. In this alarm settings page, I'll create an alarm if relay number 1 and relay number 2 are activated. Apart from being an alarm for true or false status, alarms can also be set based on value ranges. For example, for temperature, we can set an alarm to trigger if the temperature value is between 40 to 100 degrees.
On the home SCADA page, we can observe that when relay number 1 is activated, in the alarm icon will appear notification how many number of alarm occurring. Upon clicking it, an alarm window will appear, showing the current alarms. The same goes for relay number 2. In the alarm window, we can also view the alarm history based on the selected date. Thank you for watching. In this video, we've learned how to create a SCADA interface using Fuxa, with devices communicating via Modbus. The Modbus server device used is the WT32 ETH01 board connected to a DHT11 for temperature and humidity readings, as well as a two-channel relay. It's quite straightforward to use Fuxa, with less code, we can easily create a SCADA system. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.